So, um, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part, and uh, in this second part, we're going to create uh, our launch pad. Well, I'm going to just jump in real quickly because those tutorial, this tutorial is going to be pretty long, uh, counted with all parts with it. So let's take our video again, and um, well, we have here a tube. We have here two pods to say it like that. Kind of a tripod, but it's a two pod, so I'm gonna say two pod. Um and um yeah. So we're gonna create that real quickly. Uh what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a tube. So let's do that first. Create the tube, make it pretty long. So that first of all, then make uh, the space within, as you can see, we make them till a little edge, till uh, there's a little edge over. And um, once we have that, we hit T to uh, scale it down pretty much. And I want to be want it to be a little bit more longer. Oh, this is about it. This is about what I want to have. So that's okay. Um, what we're gonna need next is well, if you can look good to this tube, if we hit Control R for rendering, you can see I can look through this. Um, I want to have it a uh, bottom. So um, for that, we're gonna need to create a disk. Well, we're just gonna create a disk right here. We're gonna make the top view a little bit bigger, and we're gonna zoom in. And I'm going to grab that little axis, and I'm just going to create that as big as the tube is, actually the inside of the tube. So make it just at the half, so you know for sure that it's uh, fitting onto the tube, that you don't have any edges to be scared of. And we're going into the front view, and if you don't know, and if you are not familiar with Cinema 4D, uh, go check out the basics tutorial that I have before continuing this one because I'm gonna do things that you might not understand. One well, now to go to the front view, hit middle mouse click. We're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna move it right to the bottom. And we need to zoom into the bottom here, and we are just going to put that right on the bottom. So. As you can see, oh, it's not at the bottom, as you can see. I really want it to be there. As you can see, really on the bottom. And it's still not at the bottom. Not that people will see it right now. But um, I'm just going to do this for a really precision type of working. And we can zoom in even more and then it shouldn't be good. Well, anyhow, we're just placing this really heavily on the edge of the um, of the tube. So we now have a closed closed part and a, an open part, and that's pretty much what we want. Now, for the next thing are the two pods to set like that, and um, it's really easy to create them. It's just um, we're gonna create a cube. And we're just going to make that a really small looking cube. Uh, it's not really cube anymore. Um, so what we're going to do next is we are going to place this thing. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, this should, uh, this should be good. Now we're going to move this to... and now we have to zoom in again. We're going to move this to where it's there. To so about there. Uh, that way it doesn't stick out of the uh, of the tube on the inside. So that's good. We need to have it stick to the uh, center of it. So this looks pretty good. Now once we have this, we're going to hit Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, we're going to hit R for rotating, we're going to rotate 
take the second one 90 degrees and we're going to move this one uh, up till kind of the blue axis is lining up with the red axis. Well, that's pretty much what we want. And what we want right now is to fit in like we do right here. So it needs to fit right there. So about like this. This is good. So as you can see, we have our uh, launch pad right now. The only thing that we have to do is select this cube and that cube and that cube and we have to move it up a little bit so we move it up a little bit and we're gonna regroup it now so hit alt G to group it double click on this object and we're gonna rename it to, uh, to launch pad launch pad um, and well uh, apply the material to it and we're gonna reposition it so let it position at kind of like this, so 60 degrees. Now take this one and make it 45 degrees. Now if we can see, as we can see, it stands up to the ground and it, look, it, it is looking pretty good. Now this is actually uh, the second part. Um, we have our launch pad, and uh, I'm not really gonna do difficult for this one. So uh, here's the launch pad, just easy to create. And um, yeah, if you're uh, done with this, you can click the annotation right here to uh, go to the third part, and that's creating the missile. So, uh, thanks for watching this part. Please click the annotation to go to the next one.